Hello. Well, this is a brief video to show you my Hoover TurboMaster Total System Electronic model U5096. I'm sadly having to part with this cleaner on eBay because I've run out of room and this is one of the machines. Unfortunately, that has to go to a good owner. I'd recommend this goes to a collector because it does need some attention, it does need some work on it, which I'll point out. But it is in pretty good condition for a machine from the late 80s. Most of it works, but there are a few bits that don't. But I will show you what works and what doesn't. So if you want to take this on as a little project, you can. They're getting a bit hard, hard to get hold of now, these Turbo Masters. I used to own every single one of the Turbo Masters. Apart from the bagless Freedom, I had everything from the soft bag machine right up to this top of the range. There was a soft bag version, there was a hard bag version without the tools attached and without the electronic controls. Then there was the U5080, which personally was my very favourite Turbo Master. Basically, it's the same as this cleaner but it didn't have the attached hose. It had a tool converter here. You press down the back of it and you put the hose in. Then the model up from that was the Total System in a sort of lilac shadow color, I think it was, which was similar to this without the electronic controls and automatic flex rewind. And then this came at the top of the range. And then later on came the bagless Turbo Master Freedom. These really replaced the Hoover Senior cleaners. They were like the bigger brother to the Hoover Turbo Power. And very good, effective cleaners they were too. They were available in the USA, a hard bag and a soft bag version, under the Innovation name. So they were called the Hoover Innovation. I believe they were made in the UK and exported to America. That was when Hoover USA and Hoover UK were basically owned by the same people, same parent company. So here we have the Turbo Master. This is not a machine I've had from new. I've had it quite a few years but I got this second hand on eBay and like I say it has some issues with it which I will point out. But I'll just go through the features of the cleaner. You've got Hoover's four position height right control so everything from your hard floors or very low pile carpets, carpet tiles, up to your long pile carpet I found for general everyday carpets, uh, sort of regular short pile. Number two seemed to be the best setting. And it's very 80s. You've got this one, two, three, four numbers here which illuminate when the machine's switched on. I'll just show you that. this old man but like I said it still works and you've got your headlight here which obviously the headlight illuminates where you're cleaning and it also illuminates the setting which I love this machine there's lots of lights to it here you've got your little converter so when it's in the back position it's showing a picture of the agitator which means that's in carpet mode and when you squeeze it and move it forward it means the suction is diverted through the built-in stretch hose. So always remember when you finish using the tools to put the machine back into that position otherwise it won't pick up very well because there'll be no suction at the nozzle. Moving on up of course the Queen. This one is by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment Hoover Limited, Hoover 1990 Limited, Merthyr Tidfil. So this dates this after 1990, this machine, because they were known for some reason as Hoover 1990 Limited for a period. So up here we've got Hoover's built-in air freshener. It uses the same air freshener as the turbo power and you can adjust the fragrance. You've got a small rose and a larger rose and you just move that across and it's supposed to adjust the amount of fragrance that comes out here. And you'll see 
but this is where we've got the air freshener. You can still buy these air fresheners. Some variants are very hard to get hold of. They did um, a variant called Tobacco Clear, which I do have a few of, although I've never smoked. But I do remember getting that fragrance and it brought back a lot of memories. I think this particular fragrance is Spring Bouquet. My favourite fragrance, again, which is a little bit harder to get hold of. The Spring Bouquet is fairly easy to still get hold of, but they did an Orchard Blossom. I do have several of those and to smell that takes me right back to 1983 when I got my very first Hoover Turbo Power Autoflex that came with the green coloured Orchard Blossom. There's a Summer Meadow fragrance as well, which is a yellow. The Tobacco Clear variant was a sort of an orangey colour. So as far as I know, there are only four different fragrances you could get with this Hoover Air Freshener. So that fits into there. And then you pop that back on. Tricky with one hand, that's not on correctly. Let me just undo it. Make sure that's sliding properly, there we are. That's it, that's clicked in. And you got this, this seemed to be in most Hoover uprights for maximum cleaning efficiency, telling you make sure the bag's on properly. Empty it regularly. Use only genuine Hoover bags. This takes the Hoover H4 bag. And use only the special low nozzle setting for stuck down carpets and carpet tiles. Marked that on Turbo Master. So basically, for normal or short pile, you'd use the setting two. Here's the bag on this one. This is a reusable type, so you've got a clip on the bottom. You slide the clip off, empty the bag. You can reuse it three times tops, really. They also did a high filtration variant, which was non-reusable, which had more layers of filter paper. So that's a genuine old bag in there. This bag fits a lot of models from the Turbo Power there. You've got the short-lived Turbo Light, also known as the Elite in the USA, and you've got the Turbo Masters. A little bit dusty in here. You've got the cord reel storage area in there. On this model, unfortunately, the cord rewind doesn't work and I've not really looked at it. It is fixable, I assume, but I can't fix it myself. And you've got this ducting here. There's a tube, a little narrow tube here that plugs into the ducting. That goes into the bag full indicator gubbins. So the check bag indicator illuminates red. It should do when there's a blockage or the bag's full. And you can easily take out this. I won't at the moment because it's hard to do with one hand. But there's a lever here. You can move that up. And then this fill tube comes out and you can dislodge it from the bellows underneath. So you can have easier access to the bellows for unblocking and you'll be able to unblock any dirt in the tube. But it's quite a wide air path. So unless you let the machine get very full and let it start overflowing, you shouldn't really get a blockage with a Turbo Master. I've never had one. And on goes the bag. Make sure it's pushed on firmly. And then the bag door. It's just a little groove and a, a slot that you need to locate it in. That's it, and then it should. That's it, that's clipped into position. Now up here, we have the electronic speed control, very swish. And very, very 80s, a lot of 80s cleaners had all these LED lights on them. Um, the Sensortronics are one I particularly fond of that had a lot of lights, especially the second generation Sensortronics. And if you want to see some ads for the second generation Sensortronics, I've got a couple on my YouTube channel. So they've got this variable speed control from maximum to minimum. I'll just show you that. There's an on-off switch located at the back of the handle there. I don't know if the bag full indicator will light up, so I'll I'll try it by blocking the hose end. Let's have a go. Oh, it 
it's not lighting up so whether that's not working I'm not sure um, the suction, I've just felt the suction on the end of the hose it's not great but they never were with these Turbo Masters for some reason, I don't know why, but the non-tools attached Turbo Masters seem to have better suction. The hose diameter was wider. I much preferred the, the separate plug-in hose. The cleaner looked neater without this on. But they are even rarer than the tools attached models. The tools attached models did last longer than the, the tool, non-tools attached cleaners. When the machines were initially launched, you only had three machines. There were all with separate cleaning tools. Then they added two total system models and towards the end of the run of the Turbo Masters there was just three models. There was the two total system cleaners, this one the model down in the lilac shadow and the the black slate Turbo Master Freedom. So you've got a, a narrow diameter stretchy hose, not a stair cleaning hose, it would not reach up the top of the stairs that goes on the side. It's identical to the hose that you could get with the turbo power total systems. We've also got a colour coordinated plastic extension tube that fits in the side. Another thing with this, unfortunately, it doesn't have the original tools and you cannot buy the original, I think it's Cotswold beige this colour. You can't get the original tools, and believe you me, I've tried. So this does have the sort of tools that you would have got with the machine, but these would have actually matched the cleaner. They'd have been, well, basically they'd have been this colour. But to find a Turbo Master with everything intact would be very, very rare now. So that goes in there. Like I say, it's got automatic flex rewind. It would normally... Unfortunately, mine doesn't. The flex rewind needs looking at, um, but it's something that um, I never got round to doing. And I thought I'll just sell it as it is because somebody who wants this machine will probably know what to do with it to get the flex rewind working again. You've got on here hard floor and carpet setting. So when you move that over. To hard floor there's a little belt shifter inside the machine and it shifts the belt onto a pulley so the agitator doesn't rotate that also comes into effect when the machine's upright and what I used to love and this machine's a bit tricky but the change in tone of the motor this one is sluggish and I'll show you that in a minute that's another thing that needs looking at but I always used to love turning the machine on and lowering the handle and you could hear the agitator kick in I don't know if I can replicate that because, like I say, the belt shifter in this needs some attention and it's, again, something I never got round to doing. But we'll just see if we can get that change in tone, show you what I mean by it. did do it but it took a while. That is another little fault with this machine. I've had a look at the belt shifter and it doesn't put the belt onto the pulley properly, or the agitator pulley. It still puts it on enough for it to rotate but there is something that needs adjusting down there and I and like I say, but that's why I'm recommending this, oh, sorry about my finger getting in front of the lens, it's not very professional. This is why I would say this is best for a collector who knows how to fix the vacuum. I've not really cleaned it up very much, but it's still pretty clean. This is the agitator. Very efficient, very stiff spiral brushes and these beta pads that help agitate the carpet and vibrates the carpet to release the grit. And it's pretty, pretty close to the edge on both sides, quite good for edge cleaning. Just show you the agitator rotating.
But like I say, it is a little bit temperamental. If I put it into hard floor mode now, let's see if it stops the agitator. Right, well that's worked. It just seems a little bit slow when you flip onto carpets again. So I'll turn it on again and flip the, the, no, the um, what do you call it, switch thing. So flip it to the carpet setting. That seemed to work better that time, but it is something that needs looking at, really. So, you know, I don't want you thinking this cleaner is perfect, because it's not. It's not like a, a nearly new or brand new cleaner that I'm selling that is all working fine. Because this is a vintage vacuum. Like I say, it needs some work. Also, the bag door may be hard to tell from the video. Looking at the viewfinder, it's hard to tell. But the bag door is a slightly different colour to the rest of the machine. I don't know how easy that is to pick up. Yeah, it's a bit easy to see that way, I suppose. You can see it is slightly different. I think it is the original bag door, but maybe it's been... The colour's changed, in, it's been left in sunlight, and for some reason the bag door has changed colour, and the rest of the cleaner hasn't. But you can't, again I've tried to buy a new bag door. If you can buy a new bag door, you just get the generic black. Same with a the handle, they tend to be, replacement handles tend to be just black. And I have seen the whole back panel, back unit, recently on a spares website, but again, that's black. So that's what Hoover tended to do with obsolete parts, they, they still made them available just in a standard black colour. So you could get your machine working, but it wouldn't match cosmetically. But most people, when people used to get their vacuum cleaners repaired, they weren't bothered that the tools and the bits didn't match as long as they had a working vacuum. Now, of course, when a vacuum cleaner goes along, most people take it to the tip and just buy a new, cheaply made Chinese vacuum. This, of course, was made in the United Kingdom in Scotland, in Hoover's Cambuslang plant, which Yes, sadly is no more and is now derelict. I believe they are going to be doing something with the site. Maybe retail and housing. We'll just see if we can zoom in here, get close enough. Turn it into the light. So there we have its model U5096, 575 watts. There's a serial number. If anyone can date it from that. I'm not sure how you date the machine. It's U5096, then it's 807-00820. But obviously, well, I'm saying it's after 1990 because obviously the bag door says Hoover 1990 Limited, but yes, this could be a later edition. That's why it doesn't match. So the bag door may have been replaced or it's from an, another Turbo Master. Because I believe this was from a collector. It's quite a few years since I bought this. And like I've not really cleaned it up, you know, it just needs a bit of cleaning, but it's still pretty good for an old cleaner. There's the bellows that take the dirt from the cleaning head up into the bag. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. May need, could do with, might need a new um, brush roll, I'm not sure. But I'm going to put a load of muck down and just do my sweep through the middle just to finish the video just to see how the Hoover Turbo Master electronic total system picks up. So here we are, I've uh, done my usual. If you've seen some of my other demo videos this is pretty standard dirt emptied out of another vacuum cleaner bag. So it's a combination, there's a lot of dog hair there, bits of paper, dust all sorts. Are well, you going to see how this vintage Hoover Turbo Master performs? We'll go one forward and back sweep through the middle of this dirt and we'll just see if a machine of this vintage can still pick up this sort of dirt. <laughs> Well, 
You can see it's not done too bad. There's a fairly clean path across. It's left a bit, a couple of lines, but all in all, that's not too bad. I better get this rest, rest of this mess cleaned up because uh, if I don't, I'll be in a bit of trouble. So all in all, it's picked up fairly well, but it is, it's certainly not performing like it should do. The brush doesn't seem to really rotate as well as it should be. I did find that it was a bit sluggish on the carpet, but it has picked up. So again, it is something to do with the pulley system. It's not actually, when the belt shifter is working, it's not actually shifting the belt directly onto the drive pulley properly. It goes on but it's sort of half on. That's what I observed when I was looking at it with the um, with the bottom plate off. So that's another thing to bear in mind. If you want to buy this cleaner to, for your collection that's something that needs looking at. So basically most things work apart from the um, belt shifter needs looking at and the automatic cord rewind but anyway it's still a lovely cleaner if you want a turbo master for your collection you could do worse than this one like I say they are becoming quite rare now and I will actually package this securely and ship it so you can pay cash on collection if you want but if you don't live locally I can ship it to you Thanks for watching, there'll be more videos to upload. I'm selling quite a lot off of my collection. So if you're interested in uh, some old vacuums or some newer vacuum cleaners, stay tuned to my channel and I'll upload anything else that's going to be on eBay shortly. So from the Hoover TurboMaster Total System Electronic, it's goodbye from me and good night from him.